Tisha Plus Performance. Welcome to another Tisha Plus Performance Best Questions or PBQ. Here we have a very small problem to solve and it's just a warm up as we move forward we'll make things a little bit harder a little bit more tricky as always you can check out the website for a deeper dive into these questions both pbqs and mcqs and we have a lot of explanations and labs there i'm also working on making a free exam practice that is 90 questions with interactive labs within it so it's going to take a little bit of time to fully complete it and get rid of the bugs but i will be releasing that soon so stay tuned subscribe to the channel and let's jump right into this one the question is as follows configure the firewall to block incoming rdp but allow internal access here are your options that you need to select and that's pretty much it go ahead pause the video take a couple of seconds and we'll jump into the answers all right this is slightly tricky but not as much because we want to configure the RDP, the remote desktop protocol. Now, RDP is on port 3389 and it usually follows the TCP protocol. So we have an, a specific request in here, which is blocking the incoming RDP and allowing internal access. So it's like we're going to have to do two rules block incoming allow internal access but here in our options or in our whole scenario we only have one rule to set up we can either choose allow or block and that's it so what shall we do well the trick is in this part that usually things on the firewall rules by default are blocked specifically we're talking about the exam scenarios in CAMTIA now what we want to do we want to use this into our advantage of allowing internal access and leaving this part out because if we do not mention that it will be blocked automatically We've covered this type of scenario before, especially in Security Plus. By the way, if you're looking for that, check that out as well. It's available both in channel and in the website. And uh, that's how we want to overcome this tricky part. So what will we do? We'll try to use the action and we'll try to allow the internal part. Now for the protocol, as I've mentioned, usually RDP goes through TCP. However, RDP is capable of using UDP as well, especially in a specific version, which I'm gonna leave that up to you to figure out. If you know that, write down in the comment, which version of RDP do we need to be able to use UDP? And uh, yeah, so, depending on the version depending on the operating system that can support the version you can use udp so what we want to do we want to use any protocol it does not matter if it's tcp or udp if you want to configure the correct configure it the correct way we better use any protocol and then the source is going to be internal subnet because we want to have only internal access and the destination can be also or should be internal subnet and that's basically it now a very small note in here it's possible to also have the source coming from outside but we do not want the incoming rdp to have any access 
so this is the part that you would have configured if you had multiple rules uh, within a scenario maybe regardless uh, the port as i've mentioned in the beginning is 3389 that's the default rdp protocol port but it does not mean that you cannot configure rdp in other ports that's just how things work by default like you have SSH by default on port 22, you have FTP on port 21 by default, and so on and so forth, but it's very much possible to configure them in other ports. And there you go, we have our final answer for today. If you want a screenshot, take notes, etc. Here you go. And that's it for today. That was a quick one, a fairly easy one as well. And as I mentioned, we'll try to make things harder, a little bit more complicated, and we'll try to cover all the topics. So subscribe to the channel, check out the website as well. There are much deeper explanations there already. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. I wish you success in your exam.